It all starts with a hole in the ground. Here Total Energies is drilling several wells right in the city of Arlington, Texas. People always complain about horrible odors and noise during drilling. Next come fracking. This fracking pollution is brought to you by Chevron. There's a lot of diesel pollution, particulate matter, and silica sand flying around during fracking. Neighbors complain about truck traffic, intense noise, and vibrations that can crack foundations and shake pictures off the wall. They are injecting materials down holes, so this stage nothing should be escaping from the hole. This is flowback when the chemicals they injected flow back to the surface along with hydrocarbons, heavy metals, and potentially radioactive material from the formation. These are some of the worst exposures. No one should be exposed to this. Next comes production. Sadly, this is a typical Permian Basin production site that is overpressured for the equipment, which means massive hydrocarbon releases. These are not leaks. Right here is a small com line compressor that appears to be releasing all the gas instead of sending it to a processing plant. This is one of my favorite videos. I took it from a half mile away. This is not a leak. This is a pressure release that is required to prevent the volatile gases from exploding equipment. Here's one of our favorite operators, Chevron, showing us that it's not just the little guys who can't keep their flares lit. The industry likes to brag about their technologies to capture methane. This is a vapor recovery unit and you can see it's not working. We find vapor recovery units failing all the time. Workers tell me they need weekly monitoring, repair, and maintenance, but the industry is cutting their workforce. Now we move into the midstream phase where they separate the gas from the liquids and separate out different products. This is Energy Transfer's Waha gas plant. They're having a blowdown where they dump all the gas into our atmosphere. We watched this event for about an hour. Blowdown events should be reported to the state database. This one wasn't. Malfunctioning flare, which is a common sight at processing plants. The industry can't keep flares lit and they don't know how to operate them properly. Another gas processing plant with another blowdown. They dump gas into our atmosphere for many reasons. Emergencies, shut down for repairs, starting back up, and sometimes they just don't like the kind of gas it is. If it doesn't meet their specs, they just dump it all out in the atmosphere and that's allowed. This is a compressor station where they compress the gas and put it in the pipeline. But here they're having a blowdown. We don't know why this happened because it wasn't reported to the state. In fact, Never once have any of the many blowdowns that we've witnessed been reported to the state. This is a compressor station that shows normal operations, not a blowdown. They have replaced smaller units with bigger, new compressors, but I don't see any improvement in the level of pollution. Finally, the gas is in a pipeline headed to its destination. Oops, not really. It's another blowdown. The gas that didn't go into our atmosphere already has finally made it to the LNG terminal, where they release a shocking amount of gas while they liquefy what's left by cooling it to minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit, which reduces the volume to 1 600th so it fits on a ship for export. Now the gas has reached the downstream phase and it's in Japan where it will be regasified by warming it back up while releasing a whole lot of it. Surprisingly, some gas does get into the pipeline to the power plants. Here's what a so-called clean burning natural gas power plant looks like. During permitting, they promise clean operations and clean technology. 
but once they receive the permit and begin operation, no one verifies that they are keeping their clean burning process. It's all invisible. So the joke's on us. And here's a methane gas plant in Japan. In case you thought that Japan, with some of the best engineers on the planet, could pull off clean, burning natural gas, they can't. These video clips are evidence of methane emissions through the life cycle of producing, transporting, and regasifying LNG. This is why the science finds that these methane emissions make LNG worse than coal from a climate emission standpoint. And according to my research, LNG has the largest greenhouse gas footprint of any fossil fuel. Mm -hmm.